The jungles of Borneo are where I began my life of expeditions nearly 30 years ago. We're working our way up this river until we reach its source, a cave deep in this amazing landscape. But first, we need to stop off for some rest. And our expedition medic, Aldo Kane, wastes no time making himself comfortable. Oh, look at that. Aldo's stuff, he's pinched the best spot already. Sneaky thing. Snoozy loose. It's about getting out the boat and getting your hammock out ASAP. I've replaced my old hammock with a fancy new one, but it takes some getting used to. That looks the business. Yeah, but <laughs> I don't know how to put it up. Look at that. <laughs> what am I doing? I bet you this turns out to be mega. Unless you end up sleeping on the mesh face down. <laughs> I mean, that bit's all good, but... Uh... About six inches off the ground. It looks similar to the picture in your bag. <laughs> 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 in spite of Aldo, I get the hammock up and settle in for the night. When morning arrives, there's a pleasant surprise waiting for me. Aldo made me coffee in bed this morning. He is the perfect husband. <laughs> Before we set off, there's other business to take care of. The next bit of jungle logistics is the most important. It's figuring out where the jungle toilet is. I'm going to have to wander off into the forest and bear my backside. It's either the best moment of the day or the worst. If you kind of find a good spot and you get it right, then it's, yeah, the best a man of my advancing years could ever expect from a day. <laughs> get it wrong. Yeah, you poo in the turn ups of your trousers. <laughs> the gusset catapult. <laughs> yeah. It's time to crack on up the river, but it won't be easy. This river is shallow and overgrown. When you look at this river, it doesn't seem like it's navigable by boat. It's almost like a little brook, isn't it? And they reckon we've got five or six hours of this. Although I would sooner take five or six hours of this than five or six hours of trekking a kit through the jungle. Amen to that. While most of us are clearing a path, Aldo takes it easy. It's letting Steve do all the hacking and chopping. And there is no requirement for me to get my feet wet yet. Now I know why he made me that coffee. Basically, there's a lot of people doing lots of jobs, so I don't have to do anything. I'm just going to take an awful lot of shifting to get through this. We're going slow. I feel like royalty being dragged along by Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get used to it. Yeah. But there's no rest for the bearded. Aldo, might need you out for this one, old bean. Drastic measures are required to help us on our way. Chainsaw action. <laughs> I come to the rainforest for the peace and the quiet. <laughs> to hear the sounds of the frogs and the birds. We decided to take the boats because it would be quicker than walking, and now we're walking with boats, which isn't quicker. In fact, it's harder. I reckon we've gone about 200 metres, if that, and it's taken an hour. It's going to be a long day. Inch by inch, we work our way up the river through the tangled web of logs and branches. If the fallen trees and shallow water weren't bad enough, the rainforest lives up to its name. Well, this is fun. It's cold. Looking miserable. 
come to the rainforest in the rainy season, this is what you get. After a hard day, we finally reach the end of the river, and not a moment too soon. What a day. You can make dinner tonight. Thank you. You want coffee in the morning? 